Guaranteed, guys, here's something you will never hear coming from an Android user's mouth. I can skin your iPhone and literally wear it on the outside of my Android phone. But we have the upper hand now with iOS as we can do that. So guys, I just wanted to share something so interesting with you. Why argue? Why fight? Why choose a side when you guys can have both? Let's literally combine an Android phone, no, an Android phone, an iPhone together and get the best of both worlds. So today I do have an opportunity to take a look at the iCase prototype. This combines Android with iOS technically by super gluing them together. But this is actually super, super cool. It's a project that was on a Kickstarter and I'm taking a look at the prototype of it. So the founder, Joseph, I spoke to him on the phone. I gotta say, uh, he's a very kind guy. He has a lot of passion in this, which I like. It's not just uh, to sell it and make money. He actually was solving a problem that he himself had with his iPhone via this case. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. So just wanted to say this is a prototype. This is not a finished model. This is not the finished design. It's far from final release. So I am expecting to have some quirks with it, but that is stuff that could still be ironed out. So do keep that in mind while watching this. Let's get to unboxing. And here it is. So this is an organic LED. That way you get the benefit of an LCD on the front. If you don't like that, you got an organic LED panel in the back. So I'm not sure if this thing is charged, but I'm gonna try and power it on here. Obviously this is a prototype, guys. It's not gonna look like this in the final version. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge it up, see if I can get this thing to boot, but you know, for a rough device, it's really not that bad. So this isn't even finished and it's quite slim. So let me get an iPhone to pop this into just to see the fit. Take off my titanium case here and you know, let's slide it into here. It just slides right onto the lightning connector at the bottom. So you'll be able to charge your device through this wirelessly even. Um, a little bit thinner than your usual battery case for the iPhone. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and charge it up and I'll be right back. All right, so it charged up and I feel like a little bit of an idiot because I was not told how to turn this thing on other than how to operate it and turn it off uh, with software controls. But I went ahead and found out that there is a button on this side here that you can go ahead and press and that will begin to power the device on. So kernel version there, probably not something you're gonna see with the final version here, but man, it's kind of interesting. So you've got iOS right here, probably gonna be unjailbroken for most people, but if you're not happy with that on the back, go ahead and boot your device up in Android and maybe run a whole different set of applications back here. Battery saver is on, here it is guys. I'm running Android technically on my iPhone, literally just on it. So jumping in here, I'm actually so curious. What's the performance like and so on. Oh, what just happened? Did I turn it off? Here is the notification center. You've got your quick menu here, settings up there and uh, there's nothing down here, this is iOS uh, settings. Let's jump in here and take a look at what this thing is running here. So Android 6.0.1, I believe this might come with Android 7 uh, once it does ship eventually here, but Cyanogen mod, oh, it's running Cyanogen mod, interesting. I prototype device, cool, cool, cool. All right, so there is what it is, but what can this do? What can you do with this case? Let's go ahead and get Wi-Fi set up here. Now this thing does come with a Play Store, which is nice. That means you can install applications of your choosing games and such. So actually I wanted to talk a little bit about something that is literally the only thing that exists that's somewhat similar to this, and I made a video on it. So this is the Mi Suit. It's an Android case that works using a completely different method. So it basically runs an emulator like on your device and uh, if I go ahead and open the app here you guys will see essentially this is what it is so um, it works it works decently it doesn't really lag but you're emulating Android running on a completely different device through the screen of your phone so it's basically hijacking your phone you know you can't run them simultaneously I mean, you kind of can, you are running iOS here, but essentially you're not using Android on its own. You have to use it through iOS. And this one is kind of like pointless. Why? Why do you need this on your phone? This on the other hand is a completely separate interface on the back of your phone. And unlike this one, you can install whatever app you want. So if you find a game that you, let's say you can't find anywhere else on iOS or something like that, that would be super cool. So 
I'm gonna download one Android exclusive game here. So this is its own independent device. It has Wi-Fi chips on board, Bluetooth, network. I mean, you can even use this as a phone. There will be phone and non-phone versions. Uh, it'll have an IR blaster, which again is one of those cool things that the iPhone does not have, but can get using this case. There is a headphone jack, and the final version will have a lightning port. So you'll be able to charge your device in the case simultaneously through that. And uh, okay, so the app I did download was called Crack Screen here. So I mean, this is just some random app. I'm just showing you guys just as a proof of concept. Oh, oh, it just cracked my device, my Android device. <laughs> but anyways, so that's kind of interesting. Huh? That's a pretty cool idea for this. So I kind of want to see how powerful this hardware is and what exactly it is. So let's download some benchmark tools uh, to get a picture of how powerful it is. Wow. So I'm actually kind of impressed. This thing is quite capable. Almost three gigs of RAM. Well, three, it's probably just not showing the entire thing here. A 1.5 gigahertz processor. That's more than a lot of low end smartphones. So not too bad there. And uh, it looks like it's powered by Samsung. So let's go ahead and run that benchmark and see what it gives us. So not only is this an Android iPhone case, it's quite a powerful one at that. That's a 2,585 multi-core score. So you can run some serious programs on this thing. I think like any game, you know, this thing will handle quite easily. So I'm not sure why that's going on. It just died out on me. Uh, but yeah, let's go get that and two to see what it's running on the GPU side here and what kind of performance I can get from it. And here is the GPU, quite disappointing. So for comparison, the iPhone uh, 7 gets 166, the new Galaxy S8 got 169,000, and this one has 26,993, so 27,000 about. So it's not quite the most capable uh, GPU on this guy, I guess, so the gaming thing I take back. It is a very powerful one with the CPU, uh, but the GPU itself is not. So what else about this case? You know, essentially you're running Android on your iPhone. You guys can download Android games, Android software. And if you want to root this thing, the option will be there. So you guys will be able to do that. And I just confirmed Android 7.1 will be available at launch. So you're getting the latest and greatest Android, run the apps on it. Uh, you're getting a lot of Android features from your iPhone. Also a cool thing is the always on display. So you'll be able to get something just like on the Androids, uh, just essentially this right here so super cool adds a ton of extra features to your device and it's not too slow so I want to see if it works with this prototype and just put it on the back oh it does damn that's so cool so not only are you getting Android you're getting wireless charging you're getting a whole nother battery a headphone jack and infrared blaster and there's actually this really cool feature I don't believe it's activated right now but you guys will be able to mirror the camera so activate the camera on here and for vlogging selfies you guys will be, you guys will be able to see what the camera sees over here another just cool little feature so it seems a bit uh, interesting of a choice to put android on the back of your phone but there are so many other benefits that come with this i've been downloading the asphalt 8 1.7 gig file for quite some time and i have really fast internet so you know, I'm thinking that the Wi-Fi chip inside of this isn't that quick. So I'm going to do a real quick speed test, see what kind of speeds I can get using that because I don't know why the heck it was taking so dang long. And I downloaded it on uh, the Galaxy the other day. It took like two minutes. All right, first issue. So tried to get into speed test and my device has like slowed down pretty bad. Um, again, this is a prototype. So this kind of stuff is to be expected. What you guys are seeing look wise and software wise will greatly be improved by the time this releases. So this is running an older version of Android. Um, having some issues here, you know, optimization, of course, will be ironed out. But as you can see, sometimes it does have this little momentary slowdown on this prototype. I'm not even worried about it, though. Uh, anyways, let me try that again. All right. So this does explain things here. So the uh, Wi-Fi chip is limited to paltry, I think, 125 megabits. A max speed and I'm capable of 250 here at my house. So just a little bit of feedback to the developer. Uh, Wi-Fi speed is very important. So you might want to bump up the type of Wi-Fi chip you're using in this. So that's pretty much the only negative so far that I can tell about this. Uh, it's using very slow Wi-Fi chip inside of it. Well, by very slow, I mean not even capable of 250 that I have at home here. Um, anyways, so guys, there it is. Um, I don't even know what can I say with conclusions to this. So essentially run Android on your device, run any Android app, 
Um, all of those benefits that we talked about, wireless charging, headphone jack, always on display. You can add SD cards, dual SIM slots even on this thing. So you can literally have three completely different numbers on your phone using this case. A feature where you can use this screen as a selfie mirror, sort of, as a basically acts as the camera on here. A lot of interesting stuff. It actually runs quite well. It'll get better. It's gonna be receiving softer updates. You can even root it if you'd like to. But I'd have to say this is a very, very unique idea. I give this a recommend to buy just the fact that it's so unique and you're literally wearing Android on your phone. I mean, you can't say that about Android, uh, that they'll run iOS on a case on their phone. No way. That would just be a crazy nightmare for the people that would ever develop that if they somehow could get past Apple's security, Apple would sue the crap out of them. So this is just a really, really cool case, guys. Now, this is a Kickstarter. So if you guys want to join, I will drop links down below in the description where you guys can go ahead and pre-order one of these, you know, just on uniqueness alone and how well it works. I got to give them props. And the wireless charger itself works pretty well. So guys, there it is. Hope you enjoyed this little mini review of this guy. I'll be sure to check it out once the final version drops. But, well, quite an interesting concept. All right, guys. Peace.